moments. Dark humor and offensive jokes, funny moments. Part four. Wait a second. This isn't right. It's time for me to be responsible for my own actions. Mom, Dad, we've been eating candy this whole time. Eric Cartman's been sneaking in junk food. Hey, shut up, you half chad. <laughs> He's right. The council Bro, why is he so job. big? We've just been cheating. Yeah. I believe I can't lose the weight with exercise and proper diet. I don't want to make excuses no more. Me neither. Yeah. yeah. If you take us back, we promise we won't cheat. Well, I don't think I've seen this episode. Parents? So no cod. I don't think so. Oh, what the heck? Maybe when you're all done, you can teach me a thing or two, huh, son? You know, you guys are right. I'm sick of being a fat kid, too. I've been making excuses all my life. But I know deep down that if I took responsibility and really tried hard, if we all try together, we really Why have I never seen? Wait, wait, have I ever oh, seen this episode? You're not welcome here anymore. Yeah. Oh. What? Bye bye. Now nah, getting rejected from a fat. <laughs> getting rejected from fat camp is kind of crazy. Chef, how do you make a woman like you more than any other guy? Oh, that's easy. You just gotta find the clitoris. Huh? Oops. What does that mean, find the clitoris? Uh, forget I said anything. Move along, Junior. Hold it up the line. Hello, MLKKK. <laughs> Bro, what? You called my daughter R2D2. You know how long I've waited for this day, you son of a bitch? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo! Hey guys, you want to know what my favorite psalm is? What it's the fuck? It's a man's fuck? obligation to stick his boneration in a woman's separation. This sort of penetration will increase the population of the younger generation. Wait, 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 wait. It's a man's obligation to stick his boneration in the woman's... It's a man's obligation to stick his boneration in a woman's separation to increase the population of the younger generation. No, 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 separation. It's a man's obligation to stick his boneration in the woman's... I like how... Boys, you are in church! Oh, my bad. Oh, damn. What we need to figure out here is, are we dealing with maybe a little bipolarism, some rage addiction... It could be a bipolarism. Life. My little sunshine has a temper sometimes, but he's not all bad. Let's try a little experiment. I want to see maybe what kind of things trigger you, Eric. Okay? How do you think you would react if I said some negative things about you? Honestly, I wouldn't really care. <laughs> what if I were to tell you that I? I remember this you're episode. Fat. I remember I think this you're episode. You're a fat little boy. <laughs> I think you're way too fat for your age. Does that make you feel any anger, huh, fatty? Jelly belly. You got jelly in your belly, you little fat fuck. <laughs> you get a little flash of anger when someone tells you you got tits like a 40-year-old woman, fat boy. Huh? You like that shitty titty jelly? I forgot belly? what he did. Oh, yeah, he's a big boy. I think he had, like... That fatty some mud flaps for his ass. Big old jiggly fatty boy. Did he call his wife or something? Like, I forgot what he did. <laughs> well, I just don't see it, Miss Cartman. Your son doesn't seem to be triggered by anger at all. In fact, I'd say he's one of the more even-tempered children I've ever seen. Sorry, Doctor, your wife's on the phone. Says it's an emergency. Excuse me. Carol, what... Whoa, calm down, honey. What do you mean? <laughs> Web chat with what... What 14-year-old girl? Carol, I would never... No, I don't have a criminal record. Who, <laughs> Who is Mitch Connor? There can't be an official police report, honey. There's no... No, no Carol, put down the gun. Sweet, sweetie, come on. Put down the... Carol? <laughs> Carol? Nah, bro. Cartman is devious. I'm not fat. I'm big boned. <laughs> As we walked along the road to the grocery store, my coon sense started tingling. Something was wrong. Very wrong. I've learned to trust my coon sense. It has always been my guy. Oh, yeah, I think he attacks so token, doesn't he? A coon must know when to defend itself. <laughs> so stupid, bro. Bro, the craziest part about like all the Coon episodes, bro, is like the mint chocolate chip. Whenever they were fighting Cthulhu, bro, that he actually had powers, bro, the whole time that they were just like, nah, he don't got no powers. We don't know what his superpower is, and he literally had powers. Out of all of them who actually didn't have powers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh wow. Yo. Whoa, son of a bitch. Uh kids, uh You're a sinner. You're doing unnatural <laughs> things in the house of God. Oh, You're a sinner. Uh, oh, forgive me, Heavenly Father. I've sinned against you. Uh, this guy is so gonna burn. Mrs. Donovan is a tetris from hell. And you guys just <laughs> get out there and put a positive spin on this whole thing. How are we supposed to put a positive spin on it? It's getting pretty hard to keep defending you. Maybe it's time we put our foot down. Oh. Hope you brought some condoms. Yo. Some concern over the president's competency again today. It was during a Middle East peace conference when the president referred to the people of Saudi Arabia as a bunch of dirty sand Nigers. Though the comment seemed divisive, Speaker of the House Paul Ryan says he's sticking by his president 100%. <laughs> Speaker Ryan, it's the anniversary of the bro, president being elected. Why does he How have do nut doing? on his eye, bro? What do you mean? He's great. What We're the doing great. A lot of people judge him and just see the negative. People don't know how great Bruh. the president can be behind closed doors. They Bruh. don't get to see all his good qualities. Why does he have uh -huh. nut on his eye, on bro? Your black eye? Yes, oh, is that... I, I tripped on a doorknob. That's just... That's doorknob come. Doorknob come. I hate when that happens. Pretty standard day in, pu in public school, bro. If if kids nowadays, you know what I'm saying. I don't know if this is even what public school is like no more, bro. But it, it used to be like this, bro. Maybe not breaking down to a full musical number, bro. But it used to be like this level of harassment, bro. It was all for character development, though. You know what I'm saying? This nigga said, "How good can you twerk?" <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it was wearing blackface. Oh, <laughs> no, that one was good. Unlike the last one, I actually like seen some of these episodes. I don't know why some like there's so many South Park episodes, and a lot of the moments I'd be forgetting. But I ain't gonna lie, he gets character moments and gets, and he is for being for being a human. Right? It was the very first minute, and his effect sentence. The figure ceases to take responsibility and they said that eating too much is an easy way to an early grade. Got a little little top park episode. The old top park episodes were I feel like they were a lot more um edgy. But at the same time it was uh like good at the same time, you know what I mean? Now I think they focus more on like storylines and like pop culture references. But back then it was just like, like anything that they just felt like venting about, they just fucking did it. I think that's what made it special.